This video is about replacing brick above a garage door. And then what I did was I mixed the cement and it came out too dark, so I had to kind of fake it in at the end. So it's two parts of the video. One is laying the brick above the garage door replacing it. And the other one is making the colors match the original cement. So here we go. Now we're going to replace, we're going to take the brick down on this uh, above a garage door because the whole thing up here sagged just like that you can see it and it's cracking up here so you're going to replace it so they got a laminated beam behind it and now they're putting the black paper on Put light bolts inside to hold the so when I'm doing brickwork, first thing I do is I lay it out dry. You see what I mean? Because I don't know what at the joints. They made a mistake over here and they put two six inches pieces to make it in, in for that. Uh, so anytime you're laying brick out, you have to lay it out dry before you put lines up or anything to see where everything goes. Now Actually, what I'm doing is I'm just putting this brick right on top of the metal. See that? I'm not doing any, uh, just got to make sure it's laying flat. You don't need cement on her when you're doing metal because the metal kind of shrinks and expands. And that's one more thing to keep it from cracking. Now I'm doing my, my second course right now. If you notice, see how they, they cut these bricks in the back? They cut the backs off because when they figured it out, they didn't figure for the angle iron. So now we're putting our second course on, going down even with the line. Just like that. I put wall ties in. Everybody puts them in different. I go like this. I usually bend them like this. It's off on the camera? It is just on the camera, yep. And then... Nail them in like that. Also over here I got some wire mesh. See it? Uh, and I put that in because I know it's above a, a garage door and if they ever hit it, just a little more insurance. Now we're going to rake it out. This is a raker. It's uh, just the nail goes in here and then you adjust it to whatever the other one was. Use the back and you just go like this. Push that cement in any holes. Just like that. And then you get this side of the raker. You rake it out. Just like that. That's a style of uh, Work that they want. When you're done with that, you get a slicker. I call it a slicker. I failed a test one time because I didn't know what they called a certain thing in California. Like that. You think you got it pretty nice? You just get yourself a brush brush it off. And tomorrow you can clean it. So now I'm laying the brick up in here. There's no way to put a line up there. So you got to get the cement to stick on a trowel. How do you do that? You go down here. You go like this and you shake it. When you shake it, you can put it up on a trowel and it stays there. That's how you do, that's how you do that. I finished the brick up here and it came out too dark. When I tested it with the hair dryer, it came out too dark. So what am I going to do now? Well, I'm just going to paint it with cement, get a little paintbrush. I'm going to show you how I did that. Now this might be interesting to guys who are brick masons and have to match joint colors. 
Now on this job, they called me up and said they're going to take all the brick down and get it all ready and the only thing I got to do is come back and lay it and match the brick colors. So this right here is a sample of the cement that they took down. You see how white it looks? But if you go sideways, it's a lot darker because cement, what it does is it fades over the years, especially when it's laying on the brick. So that's the color it originally was, but after 25, 30 years, it faded into the white that it really is. So I had to match it, and I had some trouble doing it. I'm going to show you what happens in a case like that, so that uh, when you have to match brick, you'll know what to do. So here's what I did. I got some sand. I got my regular S mortar cement. I just don't, uh, that's another whole video, but if you just use mortar in Pennsylvania, it'll fall apart. I'll have to do a, a video on that. But I got my regular mortar and I got my sand and I mixed it up. Now I told the owner, I says we might have a problem because I'm only making one bag of cement the whole thing. So I'm going to add a little black cement. You see the black cement here? Add the black cement. And that's going to darken that cement to give it a darker color. So I mix it up. So I mix it up and I get a darker color. Here's what I do like that. And then I get my hair dryer. And I put it on there and I dry it. So anyway, you can see what's going on. That's the color it's going to come out. This is just an example, but I'm trying to get it to close color. A little darker and yet not as light as that. And it came out black really bad because it was only the first mix. So I had to fix it. Well, in a case like that, I go get myself some artist brushes. Like that, you go down the art store. And then you get the cement whatever it might be. Maybe you got to add a little dirt to it, maybe a little black cement, whatever you got to do. And then you take it and you mix it into a paint. And then you get, you paint between the bricks. Let's just say, let's just say we're going to paint right there. And you get the hair dryer. And you see how that comes out to match it, and, and here we go. What I'm doing is I got a little artist brush, and I mix the cement, and I put some dirt on it. And then I'm over here, and I'm just painting the joints like that. It didn't take that long. Thing, don't take that much more time than actually uh, raking them out. So sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So it's still drying, but basically that's it. It kind of matches right into the other brick. 